Chapter 42 The Hunter and the Rear Gunner Johnny slept on the couch. It felt like she had barely closed her eyes when it was time to get up and go milk. The hills were quite put out by the strange men in their house. It was dire need, Mrs. Hill. My sincere apologies. I'll be staying in a bed and breakfast tonight, but I'd love to give you a hand around the farm while I'm on leave. Christina was wide-eyed. Oh, my goodness, Eleanor, really? What would Danny say? Johnny's my cousin. Danny's his best friend. Johnny introduced us to each other. There's nothing dodgy going on. She cheered up visibly. Oh, goody. Is he single? You know, in case Albert doesn't work out. She laughed. It was a strange day. Johnny catching and holding goats, stiff knee and all, so Pete could trim their feet, wasn't something Eleanor had expected to experience. It seemed to do him good. By the end of the morning, he was cracking jokes again. Christina was fascinated by him. Albert's going to be jealous, Eleanor teased. Christina rolled her eyes. If he is, then good. Maybe that'll get him to make a move. Do you really like him? Christina shrugged. I'd like to get married, Eleanor. I want children and a husband. It doesn't have to be a grand passion kind of love story like you and Danny have. I mean, I would love to have that, but I'd settle for someone who likes me and wants the same things. I don't know what Albert wants. He keeps going out with me, but I haven't even gotten him to kiss me. I'll have to get him to make up his mind. They were cleaning the dairy floor, hosing down and scrubbing with hard brooms. Johnny came in, hands in pockets. Sounds like gossip in here, he eyed Eleanor. You're enjoying this. Who'd have thought? Are we doing food in town after work? Sounds good. Albert is also picking me up tonight. Shall we make an outing out of it? Eleanor glanced at Johnny, wondering if he would prefer privacy, but he nodded. Why not? The more, the merrier. On the way, Johnny pulled a strand of her hair teasingly. You're a mystery, cause. I always pictured you working something like a flower shop or a cafe or a boutique. Then you go out and become a barmaid and now a goat groom and you look so at home doing it. I think this is what I want to do. What does Danny think of it? He told me to work out what I'm going to need to get started on my own goat operation so I don't have to work for other people. Johnny laughed, shook his head. Are you going to turn him into a farmer? I don't think he'll stop flying and I wouldn't want him to. He loves it. He's a bird in the sky. Is he good? He's calculating. Every maneuver is planned out. That's why he's still alive while so many aren't. And you, Johnny? I have my own very specific style. It's called by the seat of my pants. That's the the thrill of it. It's kept me alive so far. From what I understand, you're a bit of an ace. I'm a hunter, El. It's the difference between us. Danny's good, but I suspect even now it still eats at him to kill. I'm not proud of it, but I am good at it. They had a few minutes alone at the pub before Christina and Albert arrived. Johnny got them drinks and they sat at a quiet table away from the bar. A tall South African and Christina stepped in. Christina introduced Albert. Johnny, this is my friend Albert Nell from South Africa. Johnny got up. Johnny Riley from Belfast. They shook hands. You're a fighter pilot, Johnny. Why? I fly a Spitfire. I'm a rear gunner in a Halifax. Tail end, Charlie, not a nice spot. The occupational hazard is there, but... The new boys had a hot time just recently, too. We did all right. It wasn't you here with Eleanor a while ago, was it? No, that was my fiancé, Danny O'Neill. Albert looked into her eyes. She could feel that strange prickle on her scalp again. What was it with this man? Johnny stirred next to her. Well, I'm going to get another bush moles. Would you like one? Do you get me a single gin and tonic, please, cuz? Albert sat down next to her. Cuz? 
Christina was still standing slightly to the side. Johnny's my cousin. Ah, I wondered. You seemed very close. So, you're getting married? Yes, December next year. More than a year away. Yes, it is. Why? If I wanted to marry a woman, I wouldn't wait that long. She frowned, shrugged. We're waiting for my parents to be in the country. Ah. Christina had to tap Albert on the arm to get his attention. What are we drinking? Then Johnny put down Eleanor's gin. I ordered us toasted sandwiches. We might want an early night. Albert had gotten up to get him and Christina drinks. She sat down dejectedly. I don't know why I bother. Johnny gave her a look from under his brows. Stop bothering. Don't hang around with a man who forgets you're there. You deserve someone who looks at you like you're the only person in the room. Then he was looking over her head with a smirk. Christina's mouth fell open. Albert was standing behind her. You've got a lot to say for someone who looks at his own cousin that way. Could you blame me then, since you're looking at her much the same? Oh, shall we take those sandwiches to go? I try not to kill people while I'm on leave. Johnny was fuming the whole way back. What a fucker. What an absolute fucker. Your friend needs to get rid of him and you need to watch him. He sighed. Al, I'm going to drop you off and head back. I might as well cancel my leave. If I stick around, I'm going to cause trouble. And the best place to get rid of this itch I have now is in the sky. Will you be all right, Johnny? Yes. I needed to see you and now I need to get back up there where I can shoot at some bastards. He sighed. You know I don't look at you that way, right? I know. We never needed to get it out of the way, but if we did, last night's conversation would have cleared it up for me. He kissed her on the forehead. I love you, cause. She watched him drive away with a dull ache in her heart.